Lockheed Martin has delivered the 6th MH-60 Seahawk helicopter to the Indian Navy, and the delivery of all 24 units is expected to be completed by 2025. All tests of the advanced self-protection jammer pod have been completed successfully, and the DRDO is now all set to start its carriage trials on Su-30 aircraft. Hindustan Shipyard has said that it has validated a speed of 20 knots of fleet support ships during hydrodynamic studies in Totank, and is ready to start construction of 43,000 ton ships for Indian Navy. The DRDO is all set to start the firing trials of 300mm Pinaka 3 long range guided rocket system. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has signed a contract for three 7,500 ton multipurpose vessels for an European client that will be delivered in the next four years. China has asked permission from Maldives and Sri Lanka to allow another research survey vessel to dock at their ports from January 2024 to late May 2024. Kaliani Strategic Systems has acquired a 51% majority stake in Soria Mash Project India Private Limited, which is a private limited company engaged in the development of indigenous capabilities for build-ups and repair and overhaul of all types of gas turbine engines. Ministry of Defence has signed a 5,336 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for procurement of electronic fuses for Indian Army for a period of 10 years, which is an integral component of heavy caliber artillery guns like ATAGs. Kali Army Group has offered its M4 mine protected high mobility infantry vehicle to African and Middle Eastern countries at competitive prices. The Indian Air Force Chief has said that after Hindustan Aeronautics upgrades the Su-30 into Super Shukhoi in the coming years, it will no longer be a Russian platform, as it will reach 78% level of indigenization. The Indian Air Force is planning to collaborate with ISRO on the development of a military-grade reusable launch vehicle that will provide a crucial platform for testing new sensors and other advanced satellite technologies in the harsh space environment. Israel's Elbit Systems Limited has acquired a 44% stake in Adani's Athava Advanced Systems and Technologies, that will facilitate the development and production of advanced defense technologies within the country. After Azerbaijan expressed concern on the sale of Indian weapons to Armenia, latest reports indicate that India has started talks with Armenia for the potential sale of Brahmo's supersonic cruise missile and the Praly short-range ballistic missile. <laughs> the Brahmo's and Praly missiles proposed to Armenia will have their ranges capped at 300 km, in accordance with the Missile Technology Control Regime Export Control Regulations. According to media reports, the Indian Air Force has planned a comprehensive upgrade program for the 40 Tejas Mark I fighter jets from 2026, that includes a complete overhaul of avionics systems, replacing the ELM-2032 radar with advanced ELM-2052 radar, new mission computer developed for Tejas Mark II, that will bring the older Mark I closer in capability to the newer Mark I-A variant, and will make sure that existing Mark I fighters remain relevant and effective for years to come. The Indian Army has started user trials of the Amog-3 fire and forget anti-tank guided missile developed by Bharat Dynamics, which features dual-mode imaging infrared seeker systems with a range of 2,500 meters. It features both direct and top attack modes, and has tandem warhead consisting of two separate explosive charges that are detonated in sequence. The first charge penetrates the target's armor to create a hole for the second charge, and then the second charge detonates inside the armored target to maximize destruction. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>